To me, when we finally discover, quote, the God particle, this is just the beginning. It's going to open the floodgates for a whole new branch of theoretical physics. There are some eternal questions that cannot be answered in the framework of conventional physics. Is time travel possible? Are there gateways to other universes? Are there other dimensions? Are there parallel universes? Einstein's equations hint, hint at higher dimensions. They hint at parallel universes. They hint at time travel. But to nail it to the wall, you have to have a theory of everything. And that's what I think the Large Hadron Collider outside Geneva, Switzerland may give us. It may prove the existence of dark matter. Dark matter is predicted by string theory. String theory is the fabled theory that eluded Einstein for the last 30 years of his life. So all the subatomic particles that we're going to catalog with the Large Hadron Collider, thousands of them that we've discovered, are nothing but musical notes like A, B flat, C sharp, nothing but musical notes on a tiny little rubber band that keeps vibrating inside our body. Physics is nothing but the laws of harmony of these vibrating strings. Chemistry is nothing but the melodies you can play on these strings when they bump into each other. The universe is a symphony of strings. And the mind of God that Einstein eloquently wrote about for the last 30 years of his life, the mind of God would be cosmic music resonating through 11-dimensional hyperspace. That would be the mind of God.